Hello everybody, this is Jonathan and in this video I'm going to be installing FreeDOS 1.4. I will leave the website down in the description so that way you guys can go ahead and download it yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and download the operating system by selecting this button. And I'm going to go ahead and select the live CD. I'm going to go ahead and unzip the zipped folder for FreeDOS Live CD. And within this folder, we're going to see an ISO image. Okay, so I'm going to be using PhotoBox and I'm going to go ahead and create a new photo machine. I'll call this one FreeDOS. I'll go ahead and select the ISO image. There it is. I'll go ahead and select next. I'll give it around this much memory, should be enough. And I'll give it around maybe two CPU cores. I'll go ahead and select next. I'll give it around maybe being around 15 gigabytes should be enough for free DOS. Next, finish. And now I should be able to select the stop button to start up this photo machine. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and select install to hard disk. What is the preferred language? English. Welcome to the FreeDOS installation program. FreeDOS is a complete operating system. If you choose to install this on your computer, you may overwrite the operating system you have now, for example, Windows. If this is not what you intend, please stop now. Do you want to proceed? Yes, because I'm using a photo machine. Yes, partition drive C. Um, we must reboot the computer for the new partitioning scheme to take effect. Okay, let's go ahead and reboot. Let's go back to install to hard disk. What is the preferred language? English. Yes, continue with installation. Yes, erase and format drive C. Press the key. So it looks like formatting is done. Um, please select to keyboard layout, US English keyboard layout. Let's go ahead and select full installation, including application and games. So I'm going to go ahead and select that one. Yes, please install FreeDOS 1.4. And it should start installing. I'll be back once it's done. Okay, so the installation is now completed. You guys can select yes, please reboot now, or you guys can select no, return to DOS. So you guys can obviously um, select yes, but I'm going to go ahead and exit from the photo machine. So that way I can get rid of the ISO image. This ISO image, let me go ahead and remove it. Remove. I'm going to go ahead and select OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and set up the VM again. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and load FreeDOS. And it looks like that everything is working fine. It was able to be installed without any issues. Anyway guys, if you like this video, please put a like and please subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.